Hey out there, Slot Car Land. How's everybody doing this week? Welcome to this week's bi-weekly featured car. And uh, it's Elijah's. And uh, let's see what he picked this week. This week I picked my Clay Rigazzoni uh, F1 Ferrari. G this is a G-plus chassis. This is my um, narrow chassis racing G-plus. Um, a while back... To start off with, the wing had come off, and so I glued it forward, which makes this car, this F1 car, look a whole lot better. And if any of you have these in the stock body form, you know that the wing is way up on the nose, and it just does not look right for this car. Um, it makes it look a whole lot better. Um, this was a Christmas gift from my dad about th three years ago now? Two or three years ago. Something, something like, like that. that. Yeah, and he did all of the decal work, and it's it just looks amazing in the silver. Um, it did before have um, magnet traction wheels on the back, and so these G plus tires couldn't fit on them very well. And if any of you recognize these wheels, you can tell that they are an SRT turbo wheel, and they are the. This is off of my SRT turbo uh, GT40 car that I put BSRTs on and so I had no use for these and I put them on this because they look amazing on it and they fit the tire really well. Um, this is a this is a fast chassis, a good handling chassis, I like it. G pluses are my favorite, one of my favorite magnet chassis to race even though they're not exactly a magnet car. No, they don't have a traction magnet. But, but they still do have a bit of magnetism on them so Yes and no. G plus cars are really fun to race, yeah, especially the F one. The F one cars are really cool because they we have a lot of cool run cars. A while. And not the F one cars. Actually, we have it. within our slot car group, <coughs> racing, racing, we never have. Yeah, we did. We did Doug's that one time. We ran G plus cars, full uh, body. Full body. I mean F one cars. Yeah, we haven't we, run F one cars. So other than, other than cars. that, the drivers challenge we did that one. Uh, oh time, yeah, right? other than the drivers challenge, but. The other guys don't have any of these. That's something that everybody's trying to get a, in our group is trying to get is a is a F1 no, um, a G plus car. G plus car. If you guys uh, want the decals for this, these decals came from um, oh, what is his name? I can't think of his name right off the top of my head now. Um, the guy out of Australia. Um, Dang it! I'm drawing a blank on his name. Sorry about that, guys. I'll make sure I, I'll make sure I'll look it up. I'll put it in the comments um, where the decal sheet came from. Um, he the decal sheet has both the Clay Rigazzoni and the Nikki Lotta decals on it. As you guys know, you've seen in the biweekly before. You've seen my version of this car, which is the Nikki Lotta version, and I made Elijah's the Clay Rigazzoni version. So we have team cars. So that's really cool. And um, I don't know if you guys can find this stuff anymore. But the gold, or the silver, excuse me, on the rear wing and the front wing, that is actually a sticker um, that I got from uh, the, our local hobby store really, really long time, even back when I was a kid. So it came from the 80s. So um, I don't know if you guys can still find this stuff anymore, but it's a chrome decal sticker that I used on the wings on this, and then I just overlaid the other decals on top of it. So really, really cool, really sweet car. Um, there is a few on eBay right now. Um, if you guys want to pick one of these up for you for yourself, um, there's a couple blank bodies. There's a couple of um, really nice ones. This one's $34.99. It looks like it has all the original decals on it, but it is minus the mirrors by the looks of it for $34.99. I, mean, I don't have the mirrors, so. Um, and then um, neither does mine. Um, there's another one up here that's missing a wing and all the decals. It's missing the front wing and all the decals that they want $22.39 for, which is a little outrageous. Now, here's a good one. There's a good one, yeah. Um, buy it now. I can't tell. Is that mirror? It's got one mirror on it? Yeah. It's got one mirror on it. Um, it's missing a few of the decals, but it looks really clean otherwise. Um, it's buy it now for $13.99. That's probably your best um, reasonable offered one right there. Eight Pretty sweet. Bucks shipping? Uh, $8.99 shipping. So you're looking at right around $20, bucks, which is not bad, for, not a full, bad not for, for a full a, chassis car. Especially a G+. Um, the bottom of it looks like it needs a little work. 
new shoes. New, needs new shoes, maybe needs some cleaning, but outside of that, it looks like it's in pretty good shape. Yeah. And it looks like it's got silicones on it already. Those don't look like foam tires, so that's probably your best bet. Probably the best one on eBay right now for price-wise. I thought there was one more up here. Oh, yeah, this guy can buy it now, $128. I don't know who this is. Now, if it's strapped in... No, it's not because they've shown you the bottom of it. The only way it's worth that much is if it's perfectly mint. Well, if it was... Man, that chassis's not mint either. The only way this car, it's missing decals, it's missing the decal on the front, it's missing the Goodyear on the back, it's missing those decals are kind of sideways. Yeah, if this car was in, if this car was in, yeah, it's been ran too, look at the shoes on that thing. Mm -hmm. There's no way, no way that this would be a hundred, they want $128 for that car. I mean, who is this guy? Now, if that was strapped in the package and the package was unopened, maybe. Yeah. Maybe $128. But some of these people and the, the prices they ask for their slot cars on eBay are outrageous. But there is a few on eBay right now, varying prices. Like I said, that $13.99 one's probably the best buy Yeah. right now. Get these things cleaned up and they'll run. Oh, they run. I mean, and you can find most of the parts for these you can get at HOSlotCarRacing.com. He has almost every replacement part you need. If you have a like, if you have a complete chassis like this, and you want to freshen it up, he has everything you need: motor brushes, motor brush springs, okay. um, new shoes, new shoes, uh, new shoe springs. He yeah, has all of that stuff for tuning and everything that you need that you would need to, to fix one of these up and get it running again. So there yeah. is one thing he sells only short step shoes. Yeah, he doesn't have the long step shoes because he makes them himself. So, um, the other place you might check is uh, uh, slot, uh, slot Car Central. Yeah. Um, he might have some long step shoes. That's something we need to investigate because we need to, we want to get some new some long step shoes for our cars. But uh, check out slot, H -O, uh, slot Car or Slot Car Central. He may have some uh, long step. He's got a lot of AFX parts, so he may have some long step shoes there. Go check that out. And uh, that's this week's car. Um, I hope you guys had a great week. I hope you guys enjoyed all the race action from the third annual Slot Car Crazy Labor Day Classic. Um, we had a great time. Um, yes. Great fun. We were hoping for a few more people than what showed up. But uh, we were surprised that uh, Rick, Phyllis. Rick Phyllis was here. And we had a great time. Um, Elijah and him basically split the winnings between the <laughs> two of them. And uh, I, got, I got a second. But I had a whole bunch of fun. It was great racing. Great time. Um, we're probably going to be going to Doug's in two weeks, so we'll tape that and we'll show that to you guys as well. Not sure what we'll be racing, but uh, hopefully we'll be mixing some classes up and stuff, so we'll be back at his place in uh, two, about two weeks. And uh, just keep on watching, keep on uh, liking, keep on, sub uh, keep on subscribing, uh, keep on commenting, please. <laughs> um, let me know what you guys would like about the channel, maybe what you want to see. And I'll try and get it done. Um, I'm sorry about the time it's taking to get back to the 4x4 build. Um, we need to buy a few more things for that. And I'm waiting for my next payment from YouTube to do that, which should be soon. I'm like $3 short of 100 And every time I make $100, I get paid. So watch the ads. So I should be, yeah, please watch the ads. It helps out the channel. Um, so um, I should be getting that soon. So we'll be buying the top board for it. I'm going to be buying all the wiring components, all the wiring and the harness and all that garbage that I need for that as well. And then we'll get back to that build, I promise. So uh, that'll be here soon. Hopefully in a couple of weeks, two, three weeks, we'll be getting back to the 4x4 build. I need to buy a few more pieces of track, too. I used some on the layout when we put the new power on it. I, and I was trying to make connections. I broke a couple pieces and had to use them. So i got to order a couple more straightaways. But uh, we'll get back to that build soon, I promise. So uh, I hope you guys have a great week. Keep racing slot cars. Keep the pin on the slot and the wheels on the downside. And we'll see you next week with the main episode. Not quite sure what it'll be yet, but we'll film. Oh, oh, I know what it was. I told you guys I was going to do that review. That's right. So we'll be doing a review on the, um, what is, is that a turbo chassis? Hold on, let me look. Yeah, we're going to be doing the SRT. SRT turbo review right here. After this review, Elijah's getting that body. Yep, mine's torn up. His is torn up, so I'm going to get him that body. But we'll be doing the SRT 
uh, review next week, and we'll co um, maybe we'll uh, compare it to a standard uh, Tomei Turbo, and we'll compare it to a Super G. So we'll see how well they handle between the two of them. So Elijah, when we do magnet cars, he runs a SRT Turbo. So best magnet chassis. They're out there. they're very competitive. So be on the lookout for that. And I love you guys. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Um, there'll be a little notation up here. Um, for you guys to subscribe and I'll put up the last two bi-weekly featured cars on the other side in case you guys missed it And I love you guys and I'm out and have a great Sunday and uh, 